Sports TV. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley, and I got uh, my buddy Tom has gone canoeing, camping for the weekend. So I brought in my lovely daughter to sit in Tom's place, Lexi. Anley, how you doing, baby? I'm doing good, Dad. <laughs> hey, so we'll be bringing the game live to you here on Creek Box, and it ought to be a great game. Uh, Irwin County Indians have traveled to Homerville to play, uh, to play the Clinch County Panthers. Uh, it's always an exciting game when these two teams play. Uh, it's a Region 2A matchup, and we'll remind everybody we got region games everywhere. I think Charlton County is playing in Lanier County, uh, and so we'll keep up with them tonight. But uh, just bringing everybody in. Uh, we're going to hear a word from our sponsors, and uh, y'all hang around. We got Tim fixing to do some interviews, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of Region 2A. Class A public school football here at Donald Tyson yeah. Field, Homerville, Georgia, home of the Clinch County Panthers. We've got a contest tonight between the homestand and Clinch County Panthers playing the Viz and Irwin County Indians. Big rivals, uh, know each other well, not a whole lot of love lost between the two, so it should be a very physical game. We've got Coach Don Tyson of the Clinch County Panthers here with me, Coach. Uh, tough opponent tonight, tough to prepare for. Oh, yeah, they're very good. Now, you know, the number one team in the state. Um, just very talented, man. They've got tremendous players, a lot of depth. You know, they've executed on at a high level. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a very, very tall task tonight. Yeah, they've, uh, they're, they're like Clinch. They've got a lot of tradition, uh, defending state champions. You know, uh, they, uh, they seem to be gelling a little bit right now. A couple early losses, but now they seem to be playing real well. Yeah, they went through early in the season. They went through some um, troubles with the virus, kind of like we did. But, uh, but man, they uh, been clear of it, and they've really got the train rolling. And uh, man, it's going to be a challenge. You know, I just hope we can slow them down. Hope we can move the ball on them a little bit. We just want to improve. You know, we we played terrible last week, and um, just saw a lot of things that we had to correct. Not just as far as X's and O's, but just. Uh, you know, just fundamental things of football that you can't do if you want to play and compete at a high level. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I, I feel like we fixed some of that stuff tonight or last week. So uh, hopefully it'll show tonight. Yeah, it was kind of an odd, uh, odd special teams night. I don't remember Clinch having that in a long time, but it's kind of a perfect storm. It seemed like they were like dominoes. Once fell, the rest of them just kind of fell along with it. It did, and, and man, it just took the wind out of our sails. Um, special teams killed us. You know, offensively, we didn't play terrible. Um, you know, but we we just got to play better in every aspect of the game. Yeah, they uh, that you had a good drive going to start the second half, and that costly fumble, then they had a. Hit a long pass, that kind of changed the game. I thought, I still, on that long drive, I said, well, we fix to get back in it, but. Yeah, I mean, we drive the ball, and then we shoot ourselves in the foot. Too many penalties. I think we had 16 penalties, and uh, you just can't, you can't win against a good football team when you do that. So uh, we've got to clean that up. Yeah, we got playoffs coming up. We're still in the hunt for the playoffs. We're looking at possibly a three seed, aren't we? Three or four. Um, it depends on uh, how Charlton does. If uh, Charlton loses a game, I think we'll be three. Um, if they win out, I think we'll be four, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. We will be in. Who, what region are we going to match up with first? Three. Okay, and that's uh, up around ECI, up that's that way, ECI Johnson. ECI and Metter and uh, McIntosh and those guys. Is Dublin in that region or in a different region? No, thankfully they're not in that region. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Well, I think they're in region five or six or something. I'm not sure. They may just put them one by themselves. That's where they need to be. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Coach, I appreciate your time. I'll let you get in with your pregame, and uh, good luck tonight. Appreciate it. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. 
Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. All right, welcome back, everybody. Back here at Donald Tyson Field. Free game going on with the uh, visiting Irwin County Indians, top-ranked team in the state. Going to play the Clinch County Panthers here at Donald Tyson Field. Got Coach Casey Soliday with us, head coach of the Irwin County Indians. They come in uh, riding a six-game winning streak after dealing with COVID a little bit early in the year, and now they're back helped in all their rolling. Coach, how's everything going? Hi, it's going pretty good. It's not good not to play football. Yes, yeah, it's cooled off a little bit early in the week. It was 85 degrees, yeah. so I'm glad it's a little chill in there. That's kind of what it's supposed to be. That's right, and it's uh, you know it's going to be a good atmosphere here. It always is, and then uh, just decided to get to play another football game because you never know anymore. That's right. You know, uh, I see the folks in the SEC are dealing with it way worse than we are. I think hopefully we caught ours early, but big matchup tonight. Always a physical game. Uh, not a whole lot of love lost between the two programs just because of all the history and and they've been some good games. Um, uh, Y'all. Uh, or got another juggernaut, looks like, this year. Well, it's a, you're as good as your next game. I, I mean, look here, you know, when they, you come down here, I don't care what anybody says, you know, all clinches down and all that. I guarantee we'll see their best game tonight, without a doubt. And, and you know, clinch, it's just been, they've had some uh, misfortune. You know, you look at that Brooks game, I, I thought that, that it wasn't near as bad as that score looked, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I thought their defense was really tough. and. Uh, you know, it's going to be another, it's going to be the same clinch Irwin game. It, it, it always is. It's going to be a tough, physical game. Well, you know, they say, and, they, and they've, they've we probably proved it out the last couple of years, the state championship runs through Silla and Clinch County. So hopefully again this year that'll happen. Um, but um, you, um, Y'all, are y'all very senior laden, or how y'all sitting this year? Uh, we got a pretty decent mix, uh, but we got you know a lot of our big players are, are seniors this year. Yep. Uh, you had, I know you got some three-year starters and all, but uh, coach, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight, and uh, always good to see you. I appreciate. It. Good to see y'all. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708, Carrot Collection Event Center. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. 
or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. Or in after the game, to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu, including our famous grilled burgers, artisan-style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. Nice contest between the Irwin County Indians and the Clinch County Panthers. Got a head baseball coach for the Clinch County Panthers, Lee Douglas, here tonight. And, uh, coach Douglas is... Uh, They've got some, some boys out there doing some workouts. He's also a softball coach, so he got a little bit of late jump. And with COVID and all, it's kind of been a been a crazy fall. Coach, how's everything going? Uh, so far, so good. We had some guys out there working out a little bit. Uh, you know, they're hitting on their own. We're kind of working on the field. So, uh, good start. Had you know, eight of them out there the other day. Right. What kind of nucleus are you bringing back? Uh, we've graduated a lot these last couple of years. Uh, I think we got three starters back from last year. So... But that, you got some young kids coming to hopefully fill in? Uh, we got a good sophomore class. We got a big junior class. Our senior class is going to be small, and our freshman class will be small. But uh, we, we'll be all right. Most of them will be back next year, so we'll see what we got. What do you think the region is going to look like this year? Um, I think Charlton will definitely be the front runner, and then uh, probably Irwin, and after that, really, who knows? So. If y'all have changed the format region schedule yeah, some, haven't um, you? We're going to play a single game on Tuesday, and then we'll play a doubleheader on Friday, so we'll go to a three-game series. Three-game series. So just play – once you play the three games, that's it for the year then, right? Yeah, you, it'll be 21 region games since we got eight teams now. So well, that, that's, that's a good many. Our rankings are gone, and uh, so we're all playing for seeding, so that, I think that's the best idea. Hopefully, you know, COVID will – not be an issue when that comes around. Well, it helps you too if you want to play a few extra games and work on right. depth next year. Last year with the with the power rankings, you were pretty well hamstrung, so that's, that's right. going to help out. You can get some common rivalries going again. Yeah, we got Valwood on the schedule, and uh, we got Wilcox. We're going to play them. They're going to come down them and McIntosh one Saturday. We're all going to play each other. So schedule set up pretty good. We got a couple weeks to get ready, and then I think first week of March we'll fire up with our region play. Yeah. So when, when's your first official game you can start? Uh, the day after President's Day, I think we got Hamilton County. I think is our first game. We'll go scrimmage at Ware County the week before. And you can when can you start official practice? Uh, I think it's the second week of uh, January. I think it's back to MLK Day, which is what it used to be, you know, four or five years ago. Right, right. Yeah, I know uh, the years winding down, and um, just just hope you know y'all can get things together and able to play next year. That's the big question. Yeah, definitely want to be able to get in, especially, you know, the way, the way the season ended last year and uh, just all of a sudden you play in one day and then it's, that's it. So uh, you hate to see those guys that are juniors and seniors lose two seasons. Yeah, the last year's senior class, a lot of them probably lost opportunities for scholarships because they, they couldn't get seen because of any yeah. game. And, uh, you know, we, we're about halfway through, so that's the season wasted. I and mean, you couldn't do anything all summer, so this is the first chance I've really seen them. And uh, we got some guys that look like they've uh, got a little stronger physically, and you know, that's a good thing always. Well, you know, I'm sure they're excited too after the long layoff to get out there and yeah, definitely. and do something. Definitely, they uh, they're chopping at the bit. They uh, they ready to go, so that's a good thing. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you coming and supporting the game. Just enjoy it and good luck. And uh, how many deer you kill? Zero. That is a sore subject, Coach. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Coach Douglas. That's it, folks. We're going to wrap it up for tonight for the pregame show. 
Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom, or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708, Carrot Collection Event Center. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. 
Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the DQ. Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on-staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40-year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, 
look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches and necklaces and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Creek Box TV. We're going to listen to the national anthem and step back, and listen that, and then I'll come right back. The band of pride from Clinch County playing done a great job with the national anthem. We're going to step back for the prayer and we'll come right back. All right, there we go. We're getting ready for some Region 2A football here live on Creek Box. They're getting ready to kick off here in a couple of minutes. Man, I want to remind everybody uh, that we are going, uh, you know, to, to announce the CB, the Charlton Network, and uh, the Lanier Sport, Sports Network. Uh, you know, we bring you rural sports live free of charge and that uh, every rural school can do that. You know, each school can broadcast their sports free of charge if they choose to do so. Uh, Creek Box, Charlton Sports, and uh, Lanier Sports, you know, stand ready to help anybody and encourage your school to live stream your sports free of charge to taxpayers. Uh, you know, we do this for the grandparents that can't make it, people in the military, uh, people that are sick, man, and, and we take pride into not having to charge anybody to watch this here at Lanier, you know, at Clinch County with Creek Box, Charlton County, and Lanier County, but uh, it takes sponsors to do that, man, and our sponsors do a great job. Uh, but tonight, I'll be by myself. I got Lexi with me reading the text message, baby. Good to have you here. Glad to be here. We I'm glad to see the game. Storm Chaser, our buddy right down the road in DuPont. He's watching. What's he said? Tune in to Lanier Charlton game. Going to get the scores. All right. We appreciate that, man. Keep us updated. You see the Irwin's walking in. We got any more? We do. We got Joey Rich saying hello from Irwin. Amen. That's right. Uh, Joey, we appreciate you tuning in, man. Uh, I think he watches pretty regular here on Creek Box. We're glad that you tune in. Irwin has got a great football team. They started out 0-2 this year, and it would be cause of the COVID visor. They had a lot of kids out of uh, but since then, Irwin, they have made it all the way back to number one. You said it's a good shot of the Irwin crowd. Uh, Irwin opened up. They lost to Fitzgerald 21 to six, and uh, then lost to Cook County 21 to 20. Then they started getting some starters back. Uh, they beat Wilkinson County 44 to nothing. Tiff County 35 to 20. 
Brooks County 21 to 13, Lanier County 40 to nothing, Atkinson County 50 to six, and Charlton County 58 to 16. So uh, Irwin is uh, probably as healthy as they've been all year. They're the defending Class A state champion and Clinch County will receive the opening kick. So we're going to take a little short break and we're going to come right back here in 30 seconds and get ready for some football. Right here. All right. Well, we got Lexi. We got Brain Thompson watching from Maynard, Georgia. All right. Little Tony. He's down there probably getting ready to play <laughs> that game. We got Joey Rich. We can be back to back to back to back region champs tonight. You are right. How many is that back? There's a lot of backs in there. Five backs. That's, that's more than the baby back ribs you get from <laughs> Applebee's, ain't it? Uh, they have Irwin for the last several years have been one of the top programs in Class A and probably Double A too. Frankie says, there that is, I got my bowl of ice cream. Well, Frankie, I had to get a jacket. It's cooling off tonight. Uh, and uh, we got to get that out. Frankie says, go Gators. It was a <laughs> good weekend last weekend for the Gators. Uh, you see, here come the Panthers. Clinch County will be, they'll have the red jerseys with the black pants and Irwin's gonna be in solid white with silver helmets. Jamie Hendricks is texting and says, Clint runs sweep on the first play, then the counter. I hear you. Jamie knows a man, one of the best coaches I ever had at the rec park. I got to give Jamie a shout out. He knows we've been doing some rec parks this week. And if you can coach at the rec park, you can coach in the NFL. You don't believe that, you go ask Jamie. When you get them flag kids eight and under, 10 and under, this is a job. <laughs> There's a shot. Them Indians getting ready to do the tomahawk chop. And uh, they're already warming up the instruments. We got Kyla Williams. They give a shout out to Winston Peterson. All right, Winston. And Miss Smiley all the way from Northgate. Shout out to the Panthers and cheerleaders. Lexi, we glad to hear your voice. Miss Ann, we appreciate that, darling. You and Smiley. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> All right, Next we're getting ready. Irwin's gonna kick off. Let me get my roster sheet here, and that's gonna be number nine, and that is Evan Ross for the Indians. We got Pamela Cooper. This is Chelsea and Eric watching from Waycross. Go Panthers. All right, Storm Chaser says what? Glad Lexi's doing good. Yeah, man, we appreciate that. All right, y'all, let's sit back and watch a great football game we hope here tonight. Usually if both teams show up and play hard, you can throw out the record. It's Region 2A football. And we're underway here on Creek Box. It's going to be a little pooch kick. Panthers are catching about the 28-yard line and bring it out all the way to their own. 38. Nope, 36. 36, that's right. So Panthers, I have it first and 10. Nope, we were both wrong, baby, at the 35. Dang. I thought he was a little bit farther. Yeah, it looks like it. See, there's a heavy dew, man. It has cooled off tonight. Mm. All right, here come the Panthers. They break the huddle. Crosby will be at center again tonight. Panthers in that wing offense. They'll take the snap, and there they go. They're going to run that sweep try around the right end, and the Panthers will pick up a yard. Good defense in there. Big number 53 for the Indians, and that is Bobby Collins. You see Irwin, they got some size. 52 in there for the Indians. Jalen Billingsley. Number seven on the other side, Garland Bernard, and some big boys, and Bernard brothers are gonna be good. All right, here comes the Panthers. They run the counter back the other way. Be third and seven, and Jamie, I think you was right. You said sweep, then counter, and we got a flag. Let's see who it, 
Looks like it might be a dead ball personal foul against the Panthers. All right, there's Andy Latham, Miss Lenore Strickland. Looking around, there he is. <laughs> Looks like he's about to doze off. Nope, this is gonna be against the Indians. So that'll move the ball, that's a 15 yard penalty. So that'll move the Panthers across the 50 yard line. Got a text that says, wish Grace Chancy a happy birthday. She'll be 23 tomorrow. All right, happy birthday, darling. And good luck, number six and number five, Aunt Val loves y'all. All right. All right, here come the Panthers. They stay in that wing, living in tight. Oh, the snap, the ball's gonna bounce off one. Did the Panthers get back on it? Number eight, he got back on top of it. That's Gordon. They snapped it, and it, uh, I don't think the running back was really hitting, bounced off his face mask, and it just went down. Panthers are lucky to get on the ball. All right, so it's going to be second and 15 for Clinch. We got a text from Miss Charlie giving a shout out for Florida. All right. Panthers, it's time to bury them in a special shout out to number one, Mr. Tyler Moorhead. All right. Ooh, there's a Pan Panthers run the counter back, number five, and that is Williams Amazi, number eight with a hard lick there, Cam Ward. Now it's going to be third and three for the Panthers now. We are just underway here in the first quarter, scoreless. Miss Wanda Richardson said, let's go Big Red. All right. We appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all know some scores around the area. Keep us up. Let us know who's winning. All right, here comes Panthers. They're going to run it right up the middle. He's going to get the first down. Good blocking in there. That is number six for the Panthers. That is Grady on the carry. No, that's not a first. He just got back to the original line of scrimmage, so it's going to be fourth and eight now. Mm. But they lost five a while ago. My bad. Dwayne O'Berry, let's go Big Red, watching from Lake Park, Georgia. Go Panthers and go Gators. Oh, I hear you. Dwayne, we appreciate you tuning in, brother. It looks like the Panthers will punt. Robbins will come out. He's a deep snapper for the Panthers. It would have been a first down, but the Panthers lost five on their first play. There's a punt. Going to be high. Out of bounds at the Irwin. He's walking 30, 31, 32 yard line. So now the Indians will come on offense. That'll bring the Panthers defense out. So the Indians will get on the field. They've been putting some points up the last, let's see the last, they've scored 40. 50 and 58 their last three ball games they're averaging about 50 points a game gonna be in the gun with two receivers we'll bring one in motion now let's see we got illegal procedure let's go clinch from dealing williams from thomasville all right that'll back the indians up five yards it'll be first and 15 for the indians now There's some of the Homerville crowd. There's Stephen Crosby, mm -hmm. his wife. There's Jonah. All right, set, uh, first and 15 for the Indians. Another illegal procedure call. It's going to back the Indians up five more. I don't think one of the linemen must not be getting set or something. It's first and 20 now for the Indians. Elizabeth Hunter, let's go Big Red. Greetings from Hayhire, Georgia. And Kagan King said, go Panthers. All right. 
All right, first and 20. Let's see if Irwin can get a playoff here. Going to get under center here. They're going to run it to the right, number two. Panthers hit him at the line, but he'll pick up three, four yards. They finally going to get him down. That is uh, Donovan Thomas for the Indians on the carry. Soliday is the quarterback, number 10. Storm. Um, Charlton seven, Lanier six. All right, got a great game over in Lanier County. The Panthers travel to Lanier next Friday to close out the regular season. Charlton's up right now seven to six. That sounds like a good game. Yeah. So far it is. All right, second and 15 for the Indians. Soliday looking over the offense. He'll take it, he's gonna hand it off to number eight. Big hole over there on the right side. He'll pick up three yards. Good job by that Panther defense. Number 12 over there for the Panthers. That is Prester. It's going to bring up third down and about 12 for the Indians. Sherry Walker, go clinch. Right. Got a good crowd watching tonight. All right, Indians break the huddle. They're going to send two receivers down here to the bottom. Soliday will get it. He's looking, coming across the middle on a slant, in and out of his hands. Pretty good coverage there by the Panthers. Hard hit. Number 12 for Clinch. That is uh, Jalen Prester. Back-to-back -back plays for number 12 for the Panthers. That's going to bring up fourth down now for the Indians. Panther defense, they'll come out. They put up a good stop here. Irwin takes the snap, high punt, pretty good punt. All the way back to the Panther 30, down to 25, 20. Get out of the way, it's gonna roll down to the six, 17 yard line. So we're gonna take a break. When they change sides, we'll be right back. All right, we're back ready to play some football. <laughs> Sweet power <of> the encounter. <laughs> Jamie said the Panthers fitting to mix it up a little bit now. <laughs> All right, here come the Panthers. Got 11 in tight. Irwin 11 in the box. There's a the snap right up the middle. He look out, he'll pick up three, four yards. Good running in there by Grady. Both teams have 11 right at the line. So somehow, if you can ever break the line of scrimmage, it'll be a foot race. And Brad on the sideline. Shot of the Homerville crowd. There's my buddy, Kerry Kite. Erica, Miss Mandy, Lori. All right, here we go. Panthers in the wing. They're going to run it to the left with... That was uh, Tiller, I think, and he might have made it back to the line of scrimmage. Big number one on the tackle for the Indians. I don't have a number one on the roster sheet, so anybody from Irwin knows who number one is, please let us Tyler. know. Tyler. Tyler? No, that, that, home, that's okay. Homerville. Yeah, that's Clinch. Tyler Moorhead for Clinch. Um, let's go Irwin, supporting from Wilcox fan base. All right. Let's go Moorhead. All right, Panthers break the huddle, wing to the left. They're gonna take the snap, they're gonna run it up the middle again. Good, hard running in there by Grady, driving him legs. Good blocking in there by number 30 for Clinch. That is Kaysen. So he'll pick up full five yards. I don't move the chain, so the Panthers going to grind out another first down. Nemo McCoy is number one from Irwin. What's his name? Nemo McCoy. Nemo. 
finding Nemo. Nemo McCoy. Yes, sir. That's number one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Devin Jenkins, for letting us know. <laughs> That's right. All right, here come the Panthers. They're going to run off tackle over there. Big 52 will grab him after about a yard and going to drag him back. That is Jalen Billingsley. There's a shot of some of the pretty Panther cheerleaders. That's right. <laughs> I think Brad scared her to death. <laughs> Hey, there's Karasu, Riri, or Lele, which That's one's Lele? Lele. I know. <laughs> I've called her Riri her whole life. Second eight for the Panthers, 4.15 to go here in the first. Clinch break settle, wing to the right. There's a snap. Panthers going to run it that way. Tiller again, but there's no room to go. Indians will hit him at the line. He might have got a foot. It's be third and eight now. Kiara Harrington said, let's go clinch. And Miss Carolyn Jones said, Alan, you on it. Yes, sir. All right. Money down for the Panthers. Look like Clinch is going to chew on some of the clock. Up shows Ink said, roll, red, roll. All right. Panthers break the huddle. Irwin got all 11 in the box. And what do we got, a delay a game, or did the Panthers jump? Joey Rich said, this is going to be a dog fight tonight. It usually is when both teams play. And usually it goes uh, one team will win and they they flop it around every other team, you know, every other game. So uh, Irwin has won two in a row now, trying to make it three for tonight. Graham and Renee Bridges said, "Go Panthers!" Our favorite Panther is Guess Bridges. All right, all right, here we go now. Panthers backing up. He's going to throw it. Nowhere to go. All over him. Big 52 will wrap him up again, and that's Billingsley. And they're watching from Lakeland. 18 also in there. That's uh, Marcus Edwards. Panthers will lose about six or seven. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Fourth and 17 for the Panthers. Good luck, Panthers, from Anavi and Zendaya. All right. Clinch your punt now. Amazi Williams to punter for the Panthers. Tucker's to deep snap. Good snap. Good high punt by Williams. Good punt. Back it all the way up to about the 38-yard line. Look out. You can't give him space. He's going to pick up about 15 yards. Number 12. That's Gabe Bernard. It's still zero to zero, but we're hoping for the best for both <laughs> of them. That's right. It 2.37 to go here in the first quarter. Irwin's have there on the 50-yard 50 si 50 line, other side of it, now on Clinch's side. So they got great field position here. Miss Carolyn said, Grandma Jane said, let's go Panthers. All right. All right, here come the in Indians. Under center now. Take the snap, he's gonna hand it off to number eight over there off tackle. He's gonna bounce it outside. Good job over there by Clinch, by Tyler Moorhead to hang on. Cam Ward was on the running back, big back, trying to bounce it outside. Good job by that Panther defense to pick up a couple of yards. There's a shot of some fans watching. All right, solid day back under center. Take the snap. He's going to give it off to number two back around here to the left. He'll pick up five yards. Mm. 
he got him in there blocking. He picked up five yards and the Panthers kept driving him back. It's hard for number 78 to stop once he gets going in one direction. That's a good shot of the Irwin County crowd. They have got their side full. Joey Reach, they give it to him fast, Vineyards. Third and three for the Indians now. They're gonna run it right up the middle. He'll get the first down hard running in there by number eight. That's Ward again. Good blocking by that Indian line. Jerome Riley said, let's eat Panthers all the way from Missouri. All right, out there in Missouri, we hope y'all doing fine. Indians break the huddle. They're gonna run a little counter back to the right. Look out, he's gonna cut to the middle of the field. Almost broke it, great saving tackle by Mozzie. But not before he'll get about 10 yards. That's Thomas on the carry for the Indians. He got 12, 13 yards. Almost took it to the house on that one. 44 seconds to go here in the first quarter. The Indians moving the ball now. Sneed said, let's go Moorhead. I need a name on number 74 for the Indians, too. If anybody's got 74's name, please yeah. let us know. That's a big lineman. He's blocking good over there on that other side. You got Toby Brown and Twani Deans, Noah Brown. I don't have a name for 74. First down and five for the Indians. They're gonna run it right off tackle to number 12. He'll pick up maybe a yard. Good job by that Panther defense. That's Gabe Benyard. Shayla Johnson said, thank you, Creek Box. Let's go, Indians. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in, and that's gonna get the first quarters over with, and we are scoreless here in Clinch County. And uh, we're going to hear a word from our sponsors, and we'll be back in just a second. We got Tim on the sideline. Hey, everybody, here we are. A little sideline report into one quarter. Very good ball. Clinch County, zero. Irwin County, zero. Both teams very physical. A lot of running, not much passing. About what you thought you'd have here. Just another good South Georgia barn burner here between two physical teams. Big rivals. Charlton County on a drive. They're down around to Clinch's uh, inside the 20. Clinch trying to hold them off. We'll talk to you again later on this quarter. Tarrant Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708. Carrot Collection. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box. We are live here in Homoville. Great football game here. We're fit to start the second quarter. Irwin's on the move all the way down to Panthers 17 yard line. It's second and two. We have a scoreless game. If anybody knows 74 from Irwin County, please let us know. Yeah, man, he's doing a great job. He's doing amazing. Number 54 also over here blocking. All right, there go the Indians. They're going to run it and he'll pick up the first down. Good hard running in there by number eight, Cam Ward. Chad Brown said, go Panthers, roll red, roll. All right, Chad, appreciate you tuning in. He don't miss a game. That's our representative county commissioner there in DuPont, man. Does a great job for us anyway. We got somebody named Mellon watching from New York. New York, New York. All right. All right, Indians, first and 10 now. Panther 15-yard line. Solid days. 
Under center, he'll take the snap. He's going to give it to number 12. He's going to get outside over there. Great block out there. They're going to throw a flag on number six. They said he was holding. That's Malachi Hayden on the block. Number 12 hit the sideline. That's uh, Gabe, and he was gone. You're not going to catch him if he breaks it. So they're going to come back, and uh, that'll be a 10-yard penalty. So that'll back the Indians up. Shala Carter said, let's go Panthers. All right. We got a good crowd watching Creek Box tonight. Man, we appreciate everybody tuning in. You know, we do this. We don't charge nobody nothing. It's free. Uh, and we do it to bring it to the people that can't make the game. You, you got a lot of grandparents, uh, a lot of people in the military. Uh, we just uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. All right, here come the Indians. Solid day under center. He's gonna hand it to the big back. He's gonna bust it outside. Look out, he's trying to get there. Good tackle there. Man, he come up and caught him from behind. Number 12 for clinch, and that is Prester. And that was number eight. That was Ward. He got a big head of steam going around that right end. Jay Stanley <clears throat> said, let's go, Irwin. And Eric Morrell said, go Indians from Atlanta. From Atlanta. Second 13 for the Indians now. Knocking on the door down here, Clinch County's end of the field. They're going to do a little counter to number two. He's going to pick up probably six yards, and that is uh, Thomas again. Moorhead on the stop for Clinch. That's going to bring up third down and about seven. Indians got to get just inside the five yard line for a first. Christopher Strickland say go Indians from Rocky Top, not right. Tennessee. All right. All right, here come the Indians. They're going to throw it now. Solid day back. Looking in the end zone. He had two receivers. Number seven dragging across the goal line. And you had uh, number 11 in right behind him. I think I don't know if he was throwing it to Roberts or uh, Bernard Garland. Uh, he had them both right there within five yards. So that's going to be fourth down and seven now for the Indians. All right, the Indians look like they're going to try a field goal here. Number 12, Gabe Bernard will be holding the ball. Let's see, number nine is trying to kick. There it is. Right, nope, he missed it. Evan Ross was trying to make it. So good job by the Panther defense to hold out the Indians. So we'll take a quick break and we'll come back and catch the Panthers on offense. We'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. We're getting ready here. We're in the second quarter, 9.34 to go in the second. Scoreless game. Indians moved it all the way down about the 10-yard line, couldn't get no points. Here comes the Panthers. They're going to run it right up the middle. They got him at the line of scrimmage. Good defense in there by the Indians. Number 53 in on the stop, Bobby Collins, big defensive lineman. They're going to give him a yard, so it'll make it second nine for the Panthers now. We got some shout outs. Candy Lot said, hold them, Panthers. 
Corey Blackshear said hello from Ashburn, Georgia. All right, Ashburn. And Joey Rich, Rich said it should have went through. Yeah, should have went for it. He didn't want him to kick the field goal. Mm -mm. All right, Panthers break the other wing to the right. Tiller's going to run that way. And we got a timeout. So Coach Tyson will get a timeout before the snap. And with that, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box. I'm Island Hanley. I got my lovely baby daughter with me, Lexi Lou. I hope I'm the favorite daughter. Yeah, you are tonight. <laughs> that, that'll change tomorrow when I pick Thatcher up in the morning. Lord. <laughs> hey, ah, uh, you see a shot. There's some Irwin fans. They got it packed on their side, man, supporting these Indians all the way from Osceola, Georgia. Ranked number one team in the state of Georgia in Class A. Probably one of the better teams in Double A. Also, Class A is so competitive this year. You got Metter, Dublin, Irwin, uh, a lot of good teams. Class A's really getting competitive now. Here come the Panthers, wing to the left. They're going to run it right on that left tackle, number six, Grady, and he'll pick up probably five yards. That's going to make it. Let's see, is it third down and five now? We found number 74 from Irwin is William Johnson. William Johnson. Man, and, we appreciate that. And number six is Malachi Hayden. Malachi Hayden, okay. All right, man, number 74. William's doing a great job on that offensive line for the Indians tonight. He is. Melo said he wants Atco to go to the championship this year. All right. Mm. Little Draco said, go Panthers. All right, here comes Grady around that end. He's going to cut up. He'll pick up the Panther first down all the way out to the 41-yard line. Great blocking on that left side for Clinch. Oh, they're going to say knee hit about the 39-yard line. So it's first and 10 for Clinch. Go Big Red. Shout out from Clinch Black. 10 and under from Coach Jimmy. Yeah, the 10 and under, man, we put them. They've been on game a couple of t on Creek Box a couple of times this week. They got a game at 9 o'clock in the morning, I think, in Nashville. Mm -hmm. They play 8 L. If they win, they'll play again at 12. That was a shot of some of the Clinch County fans. Darlene Carter said roll, red, roll. Patricia Grady, Grady said Patricia and Darius Grady. All right. From Charlton, North Carolina. All right. You see big number nine, Dalil Carter up the middle. He'll pick up eight yards. Clinch County churning up some yards now. Octavius Morris checking in from Thomasville, Georgia. <laughs> Jamie said Clinch need to find some points on this drive right here. <laughs> Go Panthers from Statesboro. Tommy Montgomery, Josh Sinker, and Hayden Rope watching. Want to give a shout out to James and Clay Montgomery watching from Georgia Southern University. All right, Panthers going to run, and they're going to catch him right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up third and two. Good defense in there by the Indians. Looks like number 14, Bryce Clements, will stand him up at the line. and. Bill and Martha Merritt, Blacklock, watching from Hilton Head, South Carolina. There's Banks Gainus. Hire Wayne, Dawn, and little Roy Lloyd watching. Go All right. Panthers. My buddy, little Lloyd, man. I hope he's healing up with that leg. He'll be ready to dance come the new year. Melly said shout out to Atkinson County football from New York. Yes, sir. Jamie's ready for Hire Wayne to get better. Ooh, Panthers trying to get a yard, and them Indians stingy, will not give it. 
hard hit going into Grady trying to pick it up. Number 52 in there on the stop along with two or three others. That's Billingsley. He's had several tackles tonight already. Big 55 also. Isaiah Tyson. Shout out to Aaliyah Bryant from Grandma and Pa. Dave from Hey Hira. Roll red roll. All right. Fourth and a yard for the Panthers. Looks like they're going to go for it. 5.15 to go here in the first half. Panthers going to go for it. They're going to give it up the middle. They'll get the first down. Good, hard running and blocking in there on that left side. Grady will pick it up, running hard. No, that wasn't Grady. I think that was Tiller on the carry. Tied out, said, listen to her mother-in-law, Doreen. I guarantee you, Doreen's a hollering up there. You can hear her hollering, roll, red, roll. Kevin said, roll, red, roll, go, Panthers. All right, Panthers driving after Irwin drove all the way down to the Panther 10-yard line and missed a field goal. Here comes Clinch now, trying to flop the field back. Under five minutes to go here in the first half. Panthers going to run off tackle again. Hit at the line. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Great. Go ahead, baby. Patricia Talbert said, go, Panthers. Man, good crowd. See Coach Rance there. Coach Tyson on the sideline. All right, here come the Panthers trying to get around that left end. He'll pick up maybe three right at four yards. It's going to be third and five now for Clinch. Number seven on the stop for the Indians. That's Garland Bernard. Panthers go no huddle. Wing to the left. Snap it, they're gonna run a blast again. Hard running. Panthers will pick up another first down. Grady on the carry there. Good blocking in there by number 50 for the Panthers. That is Johnny Marshall. So we're gonna stop. Trying to get the timeout and that will It'll be a timeout or one. So we'll take a break too. We'll be back in just a second. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homerville. All right, everyone, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Hanley along here with Lexi Hanley. We're bringing the game. My buddy Tom is somewhere in the swamp down in Fargo, probably lost. Uh, they're camping this weekend. They picked a cool weekend to camp. Yeah, at least it is cool. There's a shot of some of the Homerville crowd sitting over here. Jay Stanley said shout out to all the Irwin cheerleaders. Um, yeah, they got some pretty cheerleaders over there cheering. Trying to get them Indians fired up. And Great Bra ball game. And Bryce Cruz said beat Irwin. Right. There's some of the Panther fans. All right, here comes Clinch around that left end. They'll trip him up at the line, but he'll pick up three yards. Oh, we're going to have a, a flag, I think. Blocking the... A late hit, I think, for what they're going to call it. It'll be a 15-yard penalty against Irwin, it looks like. The referee's out there talking. I think they're going to throw it on number one for the Indians. Nemo McCoy. Let's see. They're talking about it. Great game here in Homerville. Always is when Clinch and Irwin 
standoff, and it's going to be a personal foul against the Indians. So that'll be a 15-yard penalty. No, against Clinch. Coach Tyson thought it should have been against number one, so does Coach Chase. So that'll back the Panthers up 15 yards. Big play. So I want to apologize to Nemo McCoy. It wasn't on him. It must have been on 51 that hit Nemo McCoy. <clears throat> so the referees are still talking. Panthers at the line, ready to go. All right, here we go. A third down now for the Panthers. Third down, and man, they got to get the Quail Hollow for a first down, it looks like. Third and 21. All right, there's the snap. Panthers going to try to run off tackle, and he might have made it to the line of scrimmage. An Indian defense. The coach called a timeout over there, and I think he scolded them pretty hard. Shout out to number six from Zoria. All right. Fixing to go under three minutes here in the second quarter. We have a scoreless ball game. Panthers bleeding the clock here. And that's what they're going to do, Coach Tyson. going to take a timeout with 250. Six to go here in the first half. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Man, I got to give a shout out to our sponsors because they're the people that make this possible. We have Camping World of Valosta, Dairy Queen and Popeyes, the Heritage Bank, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, uh, Lee Engineering, Lutz Brown, Mike's Golf Carts, Walker Jones of Waycross, Burt's CPA, uh, go see Adam Toll, Douglas Metal Buildings, and Carrot Collection Event Center. Them of our, all of them, we appreciate them. They are our sponsors, man, and they make it possible for us to bring you Creek Box. Uh, man, we do these with them sponsors. We can bring it free of charge for all family members. Uh, so we want to, y'all please encourage your schools uh, to let Creek Box in and do it around there's a punt number 12 and hard to run up and grab it man that was a dangerous catch but when you got hands like him you're not worried about it i'm sure Irwin, 250 to go they're going to try to put put the ball in the air here and try to get they'd love to get a touchdown right here for half they'll receive the second half uh kick so if uh Irwin would love to get six here and then get the first possession to start the second half and make it 14 to nothing. Y'all hang around at halftime. You can see both bands perform. Here come the Indians now. They got three receivers. Come on, Panthers. Let's go Big Red from Thomas family in DuPont. All right. Good crowd in DuPont. Then you Vineyard was going to take the snap, number 12. Uh, Gabe, and I think another illegal procedure penalty against the Indians. I'll back them up five, first and 15 now. And we want to thank all 525 people joining us tonight. Yeah, man, we appreciate that. All right, Indians break the huddle. Backed up on their end of the field. We'll take the snap. He's going to, uh, Gabe trying to get around the right side. Good job by that Panther defense. The corner will come up. Number 12 for Clinch. That's Prester. Good job. He'll let the uh, Indians will pick up maybe a yard or two. Clock running, 225 to go here in the first half.
Lanier and Charlton still seven to six. Great Second game. Second quarter. Yeah, great game over in Lanier. All right, here come the Indians. He's gonna run it to the left this time, trying to get outside. He's gonna get the corner. Panthers will get him. He'll pick up the first down, but he'll stay in bounds. And that is Prester again on the tackle for the Panthers. Be a first down, the clock will stop at 158 till they get the chain set. If y'all know any other scores, any other games, please let us know. That's right. Minute 45 to go. Great game in Lakeland. Uh, it sounds like it. Here come the Indians. They're going to run a little counter. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Good defense in there. Casing with a stop, along with Tiller. And number eight for the Panthers. That's Gordon. Indians have a man down. Trying to get a number. It looks like one of them big linemen for the Indians. We got Liam McLean watching from the Irwin County Hospital. Go Panthers. All right. That's number. Trying to get his number. It's a lineman. Maybe he just twisted his ankle with that. We'll take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in just a second. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength, joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. All right, everybody, we're back here on Creek Box. <laughs> here come the Indians now. Daniel's running in and out. All right, 115 to go here in the first half. They are going to throw it out, a little hitch over here to the right. Good tackle out there by number 12 again for the Panthers. The last three tackles, that's uh, Jalen Prester. Clock running a minute to go now. Shelly said, this is Shelly. I'm your daughter too, Uncle Allen. All right, Shelly Bugs watching there in Maynard. She's probably got Braden with her. Probably. Great ball game here. It's zero to zero, 45 seconds to go here in the first half. There's the snap. Looking, Irwin's going to throw it deep downfield. Nobody there. Oh, he come in. He called it. I oh, thought he had man. overthrew it. Number 12 could have caught that one. That is Gabe Binyard, Bernard, excuse me, in and out right through his hands. So that'll bring up fourth down. Stops the clock with 34 seconds, fourth and two for the Indians. Thomas County 35, Barry and zero. Veterans zero, Ware County 24. All right, Panthers would love to get a block here, but I think they're gonna play it so uh, safe. Coach Winston don't wanna. Both teams played a great first half. They just wanna get the halftime all tied up. So they're gonna take a timeout. We'll take another break. We'll be right back. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. 
drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at the All right, everyone. Welcome back to Creek Boss. The Indians look like they're going to punt. He'll get it to the... Oh, the Panthers come through. Almost got a hand on it. It'll hit at the 40 and take a Panther roll. So Clinch County will have 26 seconds. They're on their own 42 yard line. Coach Little Winston fired up. The defense done their job. Y'all hang around. We have Coach Carroll here at halftime, I'm sure. And then we'll have the band. Mm -hmm. I got a couple more scores. We got Brooks County 27 and Turner six. Valdosta zero to Lee County 20. Yeah, Lee County 20 to nothing. Colquitt 14 and Tiff County zero. All right. Joy Pan Go ahead, Dad. Panthers in the wing, and they're going to take a knee, baby. So uh, that's going to get the game to halftime. Man, zero to zero. The Panthers come out and fight hard here at home against the number one team in the state and the defending Class A state champion. We got Coach Carroll on the sideline. Daniel's saying, hang on, we're trying to see if we can get him. Got this right here. The Lanier game is at Charlton, and he may be right. So oh. Charlton was up seven to six, I think, in that game earlier now. Mm -hmm. The coffee game is canceled, that's right. All right, here we go. Here's Tim on the sideline. Let's see what Boogie's got to say. Bring it home, baby. All right, folks, here we are, halftime in a barn burner here in Homerville, Georgia. Clinch County, zero. Number one team in the state, zero. Playing, Clinch County playing very inspired tonight. Uh, they got a good game plan, limiting the amount of possessions. They're playing with a lot of heart, Coach. I know you got to be proud this half. Yeah, we're proud, you know, but it's halftime, so we got to do that again. You know, so uh, I'm proud of how we played the first half. Maybe we can get the ball to bounce our way, catch a break in the second half, and, uh, you know, who knows what might happen. Yeah, looks like y'all kind of you're winning line of scrimmage right now, which is a big plus. Well, sometimes they're winning, sometimes we're winning, they're winning. You know, it's a battle, you know, so uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's a fun game. It's what you play for. It sure is, Coach. Good luck to you second half. Appreciate your time. Why buy from the new Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com.
practically a skinny
Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth-watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. Section leader Jasmine Pittman, saxophone section leader Kayla Holtzlaw, trumpet section leaders Kaylee Walker, Allison Strickland, low brass section leader Colby Lee, support staff includes Liberian Kayla Holtzlaw and Colby Lee, quartermaster Cajun Rodriguez, uniform captain is Allison Strickland, band historian Jasmine Pittman. Tonight, the band is performing their 2020 show, Horror in Homerville. This is for features of all the best horror classics, such as Michael Jackson's Thriller, Disney's Fantasia, and The Little Shop of Horror. From the King of Pop to the Silver Screen, we hope you enjoy our tribute to the great and scary and sensational pop music. Now, drum major, Carly Anna Vaughn, is your band ready? You may take the beat.
everyone welcome back to creek box tv you see the bands man both of them done a great job here uh man we got a great game a scoreless game here at zero to zero clinch county and Irwin county getting ready to start the second half my buddy eric harris sent me some stats clinch county has 73 total yards of offense all of them rushing and come down here to Irwin. Irwin has 66 yards rushing and eight yards passing for a total of 74 yards. So Irwin's up on the offensive side anyway by one yard. Lexi, we got some people we want to catch up, baby. Yes, sir. We got Telfair 0, Dublin 20, 21, Worth County 14, Earl County. Early. Early County 20. Yep. Uh, Thomas is now 42. And Barry and Zero. Yeah. All right. Both, Both bands, bands did, did an yeah, awesome job from Joey did. Rich. Charlton is now 10, Lanier 6 at halftime. Great game over in the swamp. Annie Grady said, Go Panther Nation. Blake Henderson said, Go Quench. And Jay Stanley said, Game time, baby. All right. We got a shout out that says, uh, Go Panthers. And we also have the Vikings in Camden County are tied 7 to 7. Uh -oh. So that'll catch us up, and we've got time to catch up on some of our ads, and we'll be right back. You're watching Backroad Sports on Creekbox TV. At Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. From large commercial, agriculture, or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40 year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just quality we stand behind, but we stand on. Call today for a free quote Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. 
Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, when you buy a camper from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership. Roadside assistance and travel assist for one year. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Vicki Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homer. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Adelaide Henley. I got my daughter in here, Lexi Henley. We're getting ready for some second half football. The Indians will be receiving the kick. Uh, Montgomery will kick for the Panthers. Great football game here in the first half. Montgomery will kick it all the way down to the 13-yard line. Here come the Indians. He's going to return it. Great return all the way out to the 39-yard line. He's become a good kicker now. Yeah, he's doing good this year for the Panthers. Man, we want everybody to remember uh, Coach Trent Hatton, the principal here at Clinch County. He's under the weather. Y'all keep him in your prayers. He's been under the weather a little bit, so y'all keep uh, Coach Trent in your prayers. And tomorrow we got a birthday party for Seeger. Is that right, Lexi? That's right. All right. So y'all wish Seeger a happy birthday. All right, here come the Indians. They're going to run a tall sweep to number eight. Good defense out there by the Panthers. Number eight comes up from his linebacker position. That's Gordon. No gain. He might have got a little bit, but not much. Bring up second down and nine for the Indians. Panther defense had a great first half. Both defenses did. Irwin's too. Irwin took it down to the 10-yard line, come away with no points. Indians going to run it right off tackle number eight again. He'll pick up several yards. Number 12 will trip him up for the Panthers. Good hard running in there by Cam Ward. Priester on the stop for the Panthers. We got some score updates, but Zelda Jordan first said, Great show at halftime. Go Panthers. It was a great show. They always do amazing. We got Colquitt 14, Tiff County 0 at halftime. Mm -hmm. Brooks 34, Turner County 12 in the second quarter. Veterans 14, and Ware County 31 second quarter. All right. Well, Worth County 21, Early County 27 tw second quarter. Yeah, a great game. Third down and five for the Indians here. Big down. They're going to run the counter back the other way, and he's going to come up a couple of yards short. Get him off the bottom of the pile for the Panthers, big number 58. And that is Guess Bridges there for the Panthers. Thomas County, Thomasville, 61, burying nothing. That's what it looks like. That's a big old gap in the scores. All right, here in the third quarter, it's fourth down and two for the Indians. They're going to line up in punt formation. There's the snap, good snap by the Indians. He'll get it off, trying to keep it away from the Panthers. It'll hit at the 25. It'll touch him all the way down to the 21-yard line. So the Panthers come out and play defense and get the stop. Sherry Harper said, go Irwin. All right. Thank you, Camping World. Steve and Vonda Hendricks listening from their new camper while camping in Live Oak in the spirit of Swanee. Go Panthers. All right, man. There you go. We camping always World. grateful for them. <laughs> I'm telling you. Great job, Sanaya, Sierra, Aaliyah from Ant Val. Love y'all. Roll red roll. All right. All right, Panthers take over first and 10 now on their own 21-yard line. Wing to the right. 
Panthers gonna run it right up the middle. He'll pick up three yards as a flag and they're probably gonna be a hold on the Panthers. Pelham County 48, Seminole County 6, final score. Oh, Pelham got a great team again this year. They must have started early tonight. Sounds like it. Let's see what the referee says. Personal foul, chop blocking against oh. the Panthers. That's gonna be a 15 yard penalty. Uh, that'll back the Panthers up deep in their own territory. Now for us that don't know what chop blocking is, Daddy. That mm -hmm. means two men, or you can't block two men at once. Okay. Like if one's blocking you high, he can't block you below the knees at the same time. I they, gotcha. Uh, do that to protect the young men. That causes a lot of knee injuries, so they need to call that. We got a comment. Number 58 is not Greg Spridges. All right. That's who I have on my roster sheet. If somebody knows who's number 58. Can you let us know what Guest Bridges' number is and who is number 58? I'm telling you. We'd like to shout him out if <laughs> yeah. you can get it to us. <laughs> All right. Here come the Panthers. Grady's going to run off that left side. He'll pick up several yards back. Almost slipped away. Good saving tackle there by number 14 of the Indians. That's Bryce Clements. Let's go, Let's go. Second down and 10 for the Panthers. I think I hear Miss Doreen yelling. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> All right, Panthers are going to run to the left side again with Grady. He's fighting. He'll pick up three, four, five yards again, close to a first down. It's going to be close. Let's see where they're going to mark it at. So it'll be third and two for Clinch now. We got a timeout. I don't know what they're going to measure, I think. Let's see. Nope. I don't know what the timeout was for, but Panthers are lined back up now. The clock is rolling, 8.45 to go here in the third. Scoreless game. Big down for the Panthers, third and two. They're going to run that off tackle. He'll pick up the first, plus six more. Panthers churning out yards now. Grady, another hard run. 14 again on the tackle for the Indians, along with number six. That is Malachi Hayden. We got some number updates. Guess Bridges is number 65. All right. And number 58 is Jermaine King. All right. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for letting us know. Panthers running again up the middle. He'll pick up a couple of yards. Man, it's wet. The grass is real wet out here. There's a heavy dew tonight. Chad Williford said, let's go Irwin. And the Indians have a player down. And with that, we'll hear another word from our sponsors. We'll be back in just a second. Carrot Collection Event Center in Pearson, Georgia is the premier event center for South Georgia and North Florida. Whether it's a quinceanera, wedding, reception, reunion, conference, concert, or other event, Carrot Collection Event Center has everything you need for that special event, including 25,000 square feet of space, a full catering kitchen, spacious restrooms, and stage. Call Chuck at 386-397-3708. Carrot Collection. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. Panthers sitting second and six. We're in the third quarter here in Homerville. Eight minutes to go in the third. Scoreless ball game. Grandma said, let's go Quay, number six. All right, here come the Panthers. They're going to run the counter back weak. Good, hard run in there by number five. That's a mozzie. He'll pick up four or five yards. Up, oh, that'll move the chains. Another first down for the Panthers. Panthers break the huddle now. They're going to send two receivers out wide. 
Panthers gonna run it up the middle again. Hard running in there by Grady. He's gonna bust through the line, pick up 12, 13 yards. Panthers on the move. Good blocking in there by number 50 for the Panthers. And that is uh, Johnny Marshall along with Kaysen leading the way inside. Panthers no huddle, they're lining up. Panthers will take the snap. And I think Irwin says we want a timeout, so they'll take one. Panthers on the move here now. So we'll take another word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. At Burt CPAs, helping small businesses with their accounting needs is our business. We have offices in Homerville, Waycross, Alma, and Baxley. Burt's professionals are ready to serve you no matter your location. We are your team for accounting, bookkeeping, tax, and financial advice. In Homerville, call firm partner Adam Toll. Five, six. All right, man, we got a great game going on here on Creek Box tonight between the Irwin County Indians and the Clinch County Panthers. Panthers started all the way back on their 10 yard line. They are drove the ball all the way down to the Irwin 37. Another first and 10. Go Indians watching all the way from Virginia. All right, man. Good crowd tonight. Tuning in on Creek Box. Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the left. Oh, bad snap. Amazi will fall on it. Panthers will lose three yards. Oh, I think it might have hit somebody on the leg. Anyway, the Panthers do a great job to just fall on it and not lose it. They lost four yards. That's going to make it second and 14 now for the Panthers. Let's go number five, Amazi, and number 58, Jermaine King. Come on, Clinch. Roll red, roll. All right, here come the Panthers. Wing to the right. They'll take the snap. They're going to run to the right. Grady trying to get out of the backfield. He will, he'll hit the corner. Good, hard lick over there by number 12. Grady done a great job. He was caught behind the line. His speed will get him back. He'll pick up about four yards. Jamie says, first time all year, everybody's been fired up and I agree with you. The fans and all were just fired up. The Panthers moving the ball. Landon Delk said, roll red roll. Langston had him fired up. He's jumping up and I ain't seen Langston <laughs> jump that high since he played. All right, Panthers break the huddle. Third and nine here. Camden La seven, Lounge seven. A great game over there in Lounge. Panthers moving around on the line. So Coach Tyson wants a timeout. So we'll take one, two. We'll be back in just a second. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency is locally owned and has been a part of the Homerville Clinch County community for many years. We make it a priority to know our clients on a personal basis and take pride in customizing insurance coverage for the particular needs of each customer. We offer all lines of insurance including auto, home, business, life insurance, annuities and bonds. Lutz Brown Piegler and Manley Insurance Agency, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. Go Panthers! All right, we're back here in Clinch County. You see Langston and Coach He's about to lose his yeah. wallet. <laughs> on a cool Friday night, Friday the 13th here in Homerville. I want to remind everybody, the 10 and under and 8 and under, AC, the Clinch County Recreation Director, they play tomorrow in Nashville. Y'all shoot over there and support the future Panther players over in Berrien County. All right, third and nine for Clinch. Now they'll shift and tumble to one side. Irwin will shift with them. Panthers gonna try to get out wide. Amazi Williams, he'll cut up. Good defense there by the Indians. Amazi will pick up a yard or two. It's gonna bring up fourth and seven at least for the Panthers. All right, we wanna give a shout out to, who's that, number 59, Pee Wee Long, number 59. Trying to see. 
Panthers are going to go for it at fourth down. Fourth and seven. DeLeal at quarterback for Clinch. Now I take the snap. He's going to throw the ball. He's looking. He's going to throw it deep down here to the left. He had him out. Just over his fingertips. Number two, Perry Williams. Good throw by DeLeal. Man, he stretched out. Man, Perry stretched everything he had. Man. Graham and Renee Bridges say go Panthers and our favorite Panther, Guess Bridges. And Jerome says, what? What does old Jerome Sherrod Alan, say? whoever's out there with you sounds a lot prettier than Tom. I guarantee you. Smells a lot better, too. <laughs> uh, I bet Tom's smelling bad right now in the swamp down in Fargo. All right, the Indians will take over now on offense. They'll hold the Panthers. 4.56 to go in the third. Indians take the snap. They're trying to get outside again. Great defense in there by the Panthers. Big number 54 coming across the top. And that is DeMonte Massey for the Panthers. Number 12 will pick up a yard. That is Gabe and yard. Joey Rich said, let's go Irwin. Indians we, break the huddle. We got a text says, thanks, Mr. Allen and Lexi, for all y'all do. Love Vals and Daya and Zoria. All right. We appreciate that. Pass over the middle. Man, did he have it? The ball come out. I don't think he ever had it. And it will. It's incomplete. He's trying to hit it across the middle. Two Panthers were there. He was trying to get it to Donovan Thomas, number two. Oh, they said it was complete. He did catch it. And, uh, the ball, he carried it all the way down to the ground. So uh, third and three for the Indians now. Four minutes to go in the third. Indians trying to grind out a first down. They give it that number eight, and he'll pick up a yard. Amazi, and they're on the stop. Number 12 for the Panthers. That's uh, Jalen Priester. It's going to be fourth and two for the Indians now. 3.49 to go here in the third. I know Coach Winston's got to be tickled with the way the defense has played tonight. Big 78 there for the Panthers. That's Amari Hodges, 360 pounds. Craig, number 99, he's 330. Easy 3.30. Yep. Oh, there's a punt, high punt for the Indians. All the way back, great punt, all the way back to the 13-yard line of the Panthers. No, excuse me, the 18-yard line. So, uh, great punt there by the Indians, so the Panthers will take over on offense. Jerome said this is the best game of the year. I agree We you. No, no turnovers so far. I don't want to jinx nobody, but that's going to be the difference in the game. Whoever turns the ball over first. That's right. Roll red roll from Little Russell. All right. Miss Carolyn Jones said roll red roll too. Jamie sent a text in, said he's still watching CNN. <laughs> trying to get the count straight. All right, and here come the Panthers. They break the huddle. They'll spill it outside. Look out. Oh, oh, great balance there, Grady. He was caught at the line, and he come outside. He gets up limping. Man, he has played a great game tonight for the Panthers. Picked up five yards. He had nowhere to go and still got five yards. 2.50 to go in the third now. You look out there, that offense has played a great game tonight. They've been backed up. They flopped the field. Line is blocking hard in there for the Panthers. Coach Eric Richardson's got to be tickled with that tonight. All right, here come the Panthers. Take the snap. They're going to run it right up the middle. He'll break through the line. Tiller, or number nine, will for the Panthers. That is DeLeo Carter. He'll move the chains again for the Panthers. Hard running in there by DeLeo. Landon Delk said, go Panthers, go clinch. Dre Goat said, good ball game. Michelle 
preach it, say, go be grand. Man, and we want everybody to keep your Michelle Cawley in your prayers. She's been under the weather, man, chance. As I uh, ask for everybody to keep her in your prayers. Mm -hmm. So uh, y'all please keep that family in your prayers. We got Wanda Richardson saying, let's go Panthers. All right, here come the Panthers. It's going to snap or get by him, and the Panthers oh. will lose six yards. Oh, good job to fall on it. Sean Domingo said, let's go to Leo, number nine. And DeLeo just ran the ball hard right he up the did. middle. Panthers will lose. Man, they lost eight yards on that snap. Second 18 now for the Panthers. Patricia Talbert said, shout out to Amazi. Amazi playing hard tonight for the he Panthers. Is. All right, clinch. They're going to tumble to the left now. They started everybody to the right. There's the snap, and they're going to have illegal. I don't think they give them time to get set. We got one minute left in the third quarter. Yeah, getting close. Kadarius said, let's go, Panthers. Oh, Kadarius, he's a great player for the Panthers, won a state championship. He was. Good lineman for Clinch. Good ball player. Landon said, great game, Panthers, way to hold Irwin's offense. They are. All right, here come the Panthers now, second and 23. Moorhead come into the game, I think. thought I seen one on the field somewhere. There's the snap to Grady going around the right end. He got a good blocker out there. He's going to pick up six, trying to get back 13 yards. He'll pick up 10 of them. Knocked out of bounds on the sideline. Miss Carolyn said, good job, Tyler. That'll make it third now and 13 for the Panthers. Grayson, Audrey, and Ellie want to give out, a, give out a shout out to James Montgomery watching from Georgia Southern. Yeah, man. Then Statesboro. Clock running, 15 seconds to go in the third. Panthers milking the clock, 10 seconds. They're going to run the sweep around the left end, trying to get there. Grady's going to cut in. He finds it a little hard hit in there by number 14. Bryce Clements, he has played a great game for the Indians tonight. And that's the end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter, and we're still scoreless here in Homerville. Zero to zero. We'll be back in just a second. There's Boogie. Come on. Folks, welcome back. What a game. Three quarters in the book. Nothing, nothing. It is a old street fight right here in Homerville, Georgia. Irwin County Indians and the Clinch County Panthers. Clinch County playing very inspired. Irwin County still is a good football team. Anything can happen. Clinch trying to drive, trying to mount a drive and keep the ball alive. They've done a good job of limiting the possessions to Irwin here in the second half. Four quarters. Four quarters of football when these two teams get together. Got one big one left. Nothing, nothing after three here in Homerville. For the best pizza and wings in town any day of the week, check out Huey's One Stop in Homerville. Drop by, fuel up, and let Mr. Nick Patel and staff serve you some mouth-watering pizza and wings that you won't soon forget. Or just take that favorite pizza and box of wings home. Call 912-487-2338 to order your pizza and wings every Friday night after the game. Huey's One Stop, 193 Church Street, Homer. All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. We are fixing to start the fourth quarter. There's a start, uh, a shot of the pretty Homerville cheerleaders. Fourth down for Clinch. There's another high pump by the Panthers. Wet night, it'll take a bounce. Good job. It's coming back the other way. Tucker Robbins will down it. Irwin will have it at the 37 yard line. So let's see if the Panther defense can come out one more time and hold the Indians. Miss Patricia Talbert said, let's go Panthers. And then we go Panthers. Kurtz Roberts watching all the way from San Antonio, Texas. All right. Go Quay Grady, number six. Man, we appreciate you tuning in. 
on the other side of Texas. Oh, yeah. It takes a long time to drive from Beaumont to San Antonio. I've done that a couple of times. All right, here come the Indians. He'll take the snap. He's looking. He's going to throw it out here. Oh, man. We had the coverage. He almost had it. He did. Trying to get it out to number 11. That's uh, Eli Roberts for the Indians. Irwin, that's only probably the second or third pass tonight for the Indians. Zacharias said, go Indians. Indians are playing good. It's been a good fight this game. It always is. When Clinch and Irwin get together, man, you can throw out the records. It's a great, great ball game. Mr. Greg Gooden said, Creek Box, it's awesome. Y'all are doing a great job. Roll, red, roll. Man, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Soliday will back up. He's going to try to get it out. Had him out there, just led him a little too far, and that was Malachi Hayden, number six. He was trying to get to it. It's going to make it third and ten. Panthers got one down. That's Craig. He's going to get up. He'll hobble off the field, holding the back of his leg. Panthers will bring in 54, DeMonte Massey. Irwin has lost their first two games and won six in a row. Six in a row? Yeah, they're ranked number one. That's a they good. started when they beat Tift County, 7A Tift County. Did they? 34 to 20, yeah. Irwin has stepped it up. Man, they had, just like every year, they had to deal with the virus. It's like Clinch County has. Uh, they started the season that way, but ever since they've gotten healthy, they have been playing some football. All right, Indians take the snap. Go set up a middle screen over the middle, and he'll slip. He called it. He had it there. That's Malachi Hayden called it. Come through. He catch. Had plenty of blockers. Man could have got close to getting the first. We got a flag down. Let's see what the call is. It's fourth down right now, but let's see what the flag says. No flag. I think he was trying to say that they were liming downfield, but they were setting up a screen. So that's going to make it fourth and nine for the Indians. So the Panthers' defense will do it again. They have played some football tonight, the Panther defense has, and the offense. They've churned out and flopped field position all night long. Here's the snap. Get it off another. I tell you, Clinch is coming close to getting a piece of that ball. Look out, Moorhead on the return. He's going to hit the sideline. Cutting off, he's going to bring it back all the way across the 50 down to the Irwin 47 yard line. Well, Moorhead was back deep on the punt. A great job. He caught it and hit the sideline for about 25 yards. Miss Carolyn's comment goes real good with this. It says, welcome to the jungle. That's right. <laughs> Madison Wilson says, roll, red, roll. Dalen Spivey's watching from Milledgeville. All right, man, we got a good crowd tonight. All right, here's the Panther offense back on the field. They'd love to get two or three first downs here. There's a shot, there's Coach Chase. Buddy Eric Harris on the sideline. Big Ben comes over the ball. Crosby will take the and snap it right up the middle. Here comes the Panthers. He'll pick up. That's Grady again. 38. Man, let's see how many yards he got. He got three, uh, four, five, six yards. Good block, man. Number 55 blocking. Hard blocking in there by Tyler Posley. Mm, we got a Panther. Grady's holding his leg. Maybe he just twinked it a little bit. We'll check him out. It's an official timeout, so uh, I think he's going to allow him to water down right here. We're still at zero to zero. Great ball game. 10.51 to go in the game, and we're scoreless here. Right. I want to give a 
Shout you out know, to everybody that's graduated still watching. I'm telling you, man, and, uh, uh, you know, coming in, everybody predicted the Panthers would get beat 28 points. Uh, coming off that hard loss at Brooks County last week, they give up three special team touchdowns. They've coached them up this week. Man, the Panthers have played great. <laughs> 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 Jamie said the Panthers are moving like water through a screen door. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Get them count, Jamie. Keep counting them on CNN now, brother. All right, here comes the Panthers. They're going to run it up the middle again. Good blocking. Moorhead hit. He'll spin off and pick up another five. They're going to move the chains again. Let's go, Moorhead. He's won the ball. He's been hurt all year. Finally back on the field. 10.30 to go in the game. Panthers going no huddle. They're lining up. Indians trying to get straight on defense. There's the snap. Moorhead again. He's going to hit the outside. Good play there by number 18 in the Indians. Marcus Edwards on the stop. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Jamie, me and Jamie talk every week, man. We talk football. I tell you, he's he's tickled. Like he said, the Panthers are finally playing Clinch County football tonight. They're fired up. Panthers break the huddle. Wing to the right. Second and 11 now. Grady coming to the right. He's trying to string it out. He'll cut up now. He'll pick up three. Tough yards. Um, Greg Gooden said Panther Pride from the class of 83. Yeah, man, that's back in my day. Let's go, Mo. Mm, all right, DeLeo come into the game now for the Panthers. 9.20 to go in the game. I got to get Jamie up here one night when Tom ain't here to fill in and uh, read all the text messages for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, he'd do a great job, wouldn't he, Daniel? <laughs> Panthers break the huddle wing to the right. Take the snap. He's going to run off tackle. And, man, we got a delay or what is it? Timeout. Offsides on the Indians. Man, oh, that'll nice. move the chain. A big penalty on Irwin. First down for the Panthers. Landon says, go Panthers. Clinch County driving the ball. Nine minutes to go in the game. You can Irwin see that packed it out. The Irwin is full. They hadn't been, they hadn't started the tomahawk chop yet. They're just <laughs> waiting though. First and 10, all the way down to the Indian 24. Here come the Panthers now. There's a snap. Grady up the middle, leading, fighting for yards. He'll pick up three, four yards, and they're good blocking. Made it to the 21, I think. Grady has, he's got to be over 100 yards tonight. He has picked up, and every yard he's picked up, he's been hit by two or three people. The Andrews family love the Panthers. <laughs> Frankie said he's still watching. You still up, Frankie? I figured you might be getting up to get you another bowl of ice cream. He's fighting that sleep. He can't go to sleep thinking about that chocolate ice cream in the freezer till it's all gone. Eight minutes to go in the game now. Second and seven. We got another penalty. Let's see if the Panthers moved. Illegal procedure, so that'll back the Panthers up five. That's going to make it second and 12. We got 660 people watching. Man, that's well, when you got a great game, everybody will tune in. It's been an amazing game to watch. It has been the best game of the year. And usually when Clinch and Irwin play it, it usually is. It comes down to the right there in the left. You hear the Panthers, they're there. Yeah, the, the, the whole thing. trailer is shaking here. Everybody's stomping their feet. 7.30 to go in the game now. Second 12, Panthers looking. What do we got? A not another, they do another illegal procedure against the Panthers. Mm. Back them up another five. That'll move it all the way from the 21 back to the 31 yard line. 
Ty Dre Kareem said, watching from Nashville. You picked a good time to watch. All right, DeLeon's going to take the snap. He's looking up. The oh. Indians will get a rush. Number 11 will get him from the backside. Eli Roberts. DeLeon trying Snakes to look down the middle. Him. He just needed a little bit longer to throw the ball. Good tackle by the Indians there. Number 11, Roberts. That'll make it third and 21 now. Seven minutes to go in the game. Panthers break the huddle. They have wing to the left. There's the snap. Panthers will fake the counter. He's looking, looking, looking. He's got time. Nowhere to go. Indians will wrap him up behind the line. Another four or five yard loss. There's 14 again. He has played a great game tonight. Bryce Clements. That's going to make it fourth and you got to get out there to the second lot at the airport to get a first down for the Panthers. Charlton 17, Lanier 6, third quarter. Charlton turning it up now and folks in at the swamp. Give my buddy Adam a shout out. Fourth and 28 now. Panthers going to line up to punt the ball. Snap. Mozzie will get a low punt, trying to let it hit and roll. It's going to hit and go out of bounds at the two-yard line. What a punt by the Panthers. Great job. It hit, and that water just makes it stick to the dirt. Roll out of bounds. Man, a great job there. So the Indians have to go 97 yards to get a touchdown. They got 555 to take the lead. Mm. Man, what a game here on Creek Box. Friday the 13th here in Homerville. Scoreless ball game, a Region 2A game. Let's go Panthers from Jimmy and Melinda Andrews from the big old town of DuPont. All right. Irwin comes in the number one team in the state of Georgia in Class A. Trying to hang on. Panthers get him, hit him at the line. They got him in the end zone. Let's see. Oh, they're going to give him the spot in the one-foot yard line. Let's see. Man, that's close. I'm at, Man, we're going to have to pull the replay on that, and i got to get my buddy Jamie to look at that. They're going to let him come out to the half-yard line. Great job, number five. Let's go defense and go Amazi. Oh, man. We got one down with that. We're going to try to squeeze a break in. We'll be right back. Want to learn more about rural America? Watch Creekbox TV. Lee Engineering and Construction Company in DuPont, Georgia has been a part of the community since 1935 and is proud to support Clinch County Athletics. The prayer of the entire Lee Engineering family is that our Lord and Savior will richly bless our schools, community, and nation. You know, we face many challenges, trials, and temptations as we journey through this life, but there is good news. A very powerful man has promised us strength joy, peace, and eternal life if we would trust in Him. If you've not made a decision to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior, I encourage you to do so, and I guarantee it'll be the best decision you've ever made. All right, we're back here on Creek Box. Second down and 12 for the Indians. They're gonna try to throw it, it's tipped in the end zone, out of the back. DeLille Carter will knock it down from Soliday. We got a bunch of roll red rolls coming in. Jamie said, I didn't see the foot get out. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that, brother. <laughs> 5.26 to go in the game. It's third and 12 for the Indians now. That Panther defense has played great all night. Coach Chase, Coach Winston, Coach Rance, man, they got them on that side of the ball ready to play. Let's go Panthers from Happyville. I'm sure it's getting loud in Happyville and Pea Ridge all around at Quail yeah. Hollow and Brookwood here in Omerville. It's getting loud on these stands. All right. Solid A in the end zone. He's going to throw a long fade down the field, and he's going to catch it all the way out to the 45, and they're oh, going to call man. holding. The Panthers had to hold him or it would have been a touchdown. If he doesn't 
grab him earlier, he probably scores. Great throw and catch by the Indians. Go Panthers from Beard Man Logistics, watching from I-95 South Bank. Let's see what they're calling it on Panthers, saying it's offense. Irwin saying defense. Let's see what happens. It doesn't matter. It's going to come down to whoever calls it right here at a white cap. Let's see what he says. The law of the land. He's looking. This might go against Irwin. Personal foul. In, oh, he went out of bounds and touched the ball. That'll be against Irwin. He cannot touch the ball if he steps out of bounds, and that's what they're calling. So he stepped out of bounds and come in, and he was the first player to touch the ball. We're back at the 20-yard line. But does that, that get, I don't understand that. They're still giving them yardage, so I, it's got to be something else. So it'll be first and 10. The Indians have brought it out from the two to the 17 yard line. Shout out to number five, Amazi from Aunt Melinda. All right, here come the Indians trying to get out wide. Panthers got him hemmed up outside. Good job in there. Carter on the bottom of the pile. DeLeo, he's coming up slow, holding that arm. We're under five minutes to go in the game now. It's zero to zero. Second and seven for the Indians. Crystal Wood said, come on Panthers, roll red roll. Regardless of what happens tonight, Clinch County has played a well of a ball game. Indian is going to run a tall sweep to the right. Panthers had him him behind the line. He'll get out to maybe got, no, he's going to lose a yard. That defense will wrap him up again. It's going to make it third and eight for the Indians. Let's go Tucker from your Carlton crew. All right. Irwin trying to get outside. The Panthers corners have come up and played great football tonight. See the defense jumping around. They're excited out on the field, ready to play. We got less than four minutes left. Yep, third and eight. 350 in the game. Panthers would love to get one more shot at it on offense here. They've come close all night to blocking a punt. Indians gonna throw it. Let's see what we got here. We got a timeout. Irwin. All right, we got a timeout, so we'll take one, two. We'll be back in just a second. Dairy Queen is a proud part of our local communities and is cheering our sports teams on to championship seasons. Drop by before and after the game to say hello to Mr. Ash and his entire crew and enjoy the full Dairy Queen menu including our famous grilled burgers, artisan style sandwiches, and chicken strips. Cool off with our renowned smoothies, slushies, malts, and iced coffees. Try our fabulous desserts and take an ice cream cake home for that special occasion or just to treat the family. Dine in or take out at Dairy Queen locations in Homerville, Blackshire, Folkestone, and Fernandina Beach. See you at All right, everybody, welcome back to Creek Box. 3.41 to go in the game, scoreless here. Third and seven for the Indians. Soliday takes the snap. He's going to roll to his left, looking down the field. He'll over, oh, it's intercepted. Yeah. Number 11's got it. He's taking it down to the 25, all the way down to the 22. We got a flag on the play. Great job in there by number 11 for the Panthers will bring it down, and that is Khalil Jenkins with the interception. Walter Clinch says go Panthers, and Christian Rice said let's go Panthers all the way from Canada. Canada up there. I bet they some it's a little cool up there because it's cool down here tonight. See what the play is, probably a block. 
in the back against the Panthers, and that's what it is. Mm. But the Panthers will keep possession of the ball. 331 to go in the game. Jamie Williams said, great job, Panthers, and Ann Grady said, go Panthers. So the Panthers have it now on the 35-yard line of the Indians, 3.31 to go. It's been a great game all night. Miss Carolyn said, way to go, number 11. You hear them stomping? Yeah, they're getting loud. Ben Crosby will run out there. Here comes DeLille. Now they'll crank it. Fans from Irwin, there's a shot of the Homerville fans. They're all standing up. We got a pile of them at the concession stand. Here come the Panthers, wing to the right. DeLeo's gonna run that way. He'll rush down, he run over one. He's gonna break the oh. line. He'll drag another one, another couple yards. The 38, or the 28. Good run there, he'll pick up five yards. David Lee. Good hard running by the Panthers. Second and three now. Uh, fixing to go under three minutes to go in the game. There's little again up the middle. He'll pick up a couple of yards. The call was sideline interference on Irwin. Okay, that's what it was. One of the referees tripped over the, one of the coaches or the players, and that's why it come back from the 40 to the 20. All right, first and 10, Panthers down now. Up the middle again, that line blocking. He'll pick up a couple, three okay. yards, 235 to go in the game. Patricia Tarrant said, roll red roll from GT. Number eight on the carry, that is Jawan Gordon. Second seven, clock running. Let's go, little brother DeLille Carter. Clock running, we're down to 215 to go in the game now. Second and seven for the Panthers. There's the snap. Grady going to cut to the left. He'll cut back up. He'll pick up two tough yards. Number 14 again. Bryce Clements, he has played a great game tonight for them Indians. 150 to go in the game. Going to make it third and four for the Panthers. Let's go to one. Clinch is on the 10, 15 to 16, 17 yard line of the Indians. Clock running, 140 to go in the game. Third and four, Panthers taking their time. Here they go, wing to the right. There's a snap, Panthers gonna run that way. The Indians will wrap him up at the line. He'll might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Down to a minute and 20 now. It's gonna make it fourth and four. Trevor Brown said go Panthers. Panthers are on their own on the Irwin 18 yard line, 110 clock running. Panthers look like they're gonna go for it. They're not gonna try a field goal. It's a wet night, man. That ball is slick. Let's see, Coach Tyson might run it down and try a field goal. Let's see what they're gonna do here. And he had run it down. We'll call a timeout with 49 seconds to go in the game, and we'll take one, too. We'll be right back. Why buy from the new Walker Jones used car mega center? We'll treat you like good friends and neighbors should. That's the Walker Jones way. Plus, a lot of our employees here at Walker Jones have been working 10, 20, even 30 years serving our community. And we'll always get you the best price possible. At Walker Jones Mega Center, we have all makes and models. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center on Memorial Drive in Waycross and online at walkerjones.com. All right, welcome back to Creek Box TV. I'm Alan Handley along here with my pretty assistant, Lexi Handley, and Clinch County clawing all night long to play with the number one team in the state in Class A, the Irwin County Indians. Clinch fell out of the top 10. And I think he's right, my buddy Jamie says he needs to try field gold here, and that's what we're gonna try to do. So Tucker Robbins will snap it. Come on, Tucker. Number 40 will put it down. That's Bigler. 
And number 24, Montgomery will try the field goal. There's a snap, it's put down. Montgomery kick, it's up high. I think they got a piece of it, it's gonna go to the left. We got a flag, he's gonna run into the kicker. That's gonna be a 15 yard penalty. There's 45 seconds to go. That'll move the ball if it's 15 yards all the way down inside the 10, let's see. Irwin said he was pushed into the kicker. Doesn't matter, it'll be a, if it's a five yard penalty, it's still a first down for Clinch. First down, Panthers. 45 seconds to go in the game and Clinch trying to claw out a win here in Omerville. Irwin fans are shot. They're averaged 54 points a game for the last three weeks. They have zero tonight on the scoreboard. Welcome to the Boneyard. All right, here come the Panthers. They break the huddle wing to the right. 45 seconds to go. Panthers take the snap. They're going to run that way. He'll get to the line. Grady will. He'll pick up three, four yards. Clock running. He's at the nine-yard line. 35 seconds. Panthers need to hurry. I don't know how many timeout they have. We're down to 30 seconds. Clock running. Panthers stay in that wing to the right. 25 seconds. They're going to run again to the right. Trying to get outside. Grady will get out of bounds. Oh, and there'll be another 50. That's going to be half the distance. They pushed him all the way into the fence. Oh, man. You see Eric Harris down there. He said, you got to throw the flag both hands up. So that's going to be another automatic first down. 20 seconds to go in the game. I don't know how many timeouts the Panthers have. I'd, I'd give anything to have two. Roll red roll from Melinda Andrews. Shout out to Marvin Ganey from the Chanseys and Jamie Hendricks. Yes, sir, James. <laughs> Counter will <laughs> score. Counter will score a TD. I, I'm with you on that, Jamie. <laughs> they sitting on. We've run it to the right side on that sweep the last four or five plays. We might could catch him asleep on that backside. 20 seconds to go. Man. Panthers break the huddle wing to the left now. First, then go at the five. There's a snap, Grady, he's trying to get up the Come middle. On. He's down to the two yard line. They're pushing him, pushing him. Touchdown, Panthers! 13 seconds to go in the game. And it's they stirring. stopped him at the one. Big Craig and the offensive line says, we gonna get one more yard. And that line pushed him the distance. Six on, to Clint. nothing. Everybody from Clinch is blowing it up now. Go 13 Panthers. seconds to go. The number one team in the state is shocked in Clinch County. Roll red roll, Panther Nation. It hadn't been this loud in Homerville in a long time. Montgomery will try the extra point. Six to nothing, 13 seconds. Clinch wants a timeout. With that, Lexi, we're catching us up on the shouts, baby. Everybody's saying, roll red, Canada roll. Loves you. <laughs> Good right. job, Panthers, from Crystal Wood. Congrats, Clinch. We still get region chants from Joey Rich. That's right. Irwin, that's Irwin's first. If they hang on and lose tonight, Irwin has automatically clinched first place in the region. Osceola, bye-bye. Go, Panthers. Touchdown, Panthers. I tell you what, this has been one game that you won't forget. It's been the this best is, game in a long time here. This has. Go Panthers from Curtis Ellett, Ellis, Landon, um, Landon Delt, Dwayne O'Berry, Austin Arnold, Carolyn Jones, Michael Hall. From Brooks County, Michael Hall said, go Panthers. Yeah, man. Amanda Webb said, we got this. Patricia Talbert said, go Panthers. Katie James, so yay. <laughs> I tell you what, all right, here comes the extra point for the Panthers. Up six to nothing with 13 seconds to go. Montgomery trying to get one more point for Clinch. There's the snap, a low snap. They'll get it down, though. He'll kick it straight through the uprise. That's going to make it seven to nothing. Clinch with 13 seconds to go in the game. 
Way to go, Panthers. Way to go, fellas. I'm getting a pile of Texas blowed up here. Man, Shout this out has been to James Montgomery from his grandparents. Miss Patsy and David, he just put one straight through the uprights. He's been kicking great this game. Man, it started. The Panthers tried a field goal, and Irwin come through to block it, and Man, they run into James, and that's going to make it a 15-yard penalty. Give the Panthers an automatic first down. Go Panthers from Brooks County. Dang, Brooks County would love to see Irwin lose tonight <laughs> and next week. That would put them in first place. Dang. Man, it has been a great game here in Homerville. We got a lot of Brooks County watching. Yeah, I'm sure there is a big crowd from Brooks County. 13 great seconds job, to Clinch. go. Go Panthers. Clinch. All right, let's see. The Panthers, is, they're going to keep it low, man, because I'm telling you, Irwin has some speed back deep. You don't want to get it into the twins' hands. That's been yard, either one of them. Shout out to Khalil Jenkins from his mom. 13 seconds. Let's see what Montgomery's going to do with the ball here. There it is. He's going to pooch it towards the sideline. Irwin will take a fair catch at the 35-yard line, so no time will expire. The Panthers' defense has played great all night. They have killed the Indians scoreless. They come into tonight's game averaging about 52, 53 points a game the last three, four games. I'm telling you, when these two teams play, you throw out the record. This is uh, Irwin, probably the best football program win-loss record over the last five or six years. Uh, only loss that they have is a couple to Clinch County. All right, here come the Indians. They got receivers lined up everywhere. Coach Chase will look at it, and he'll tell them to give him a timeout. Let me set my secondary up. Uh, Walter and Clinch, so watching from Cedar Park, Texas. All right, man, way out. We got a few people out in Texas watching. We do. Brooks County, go Clinch, go Panthers from Brooks County. Great job, Panthers, from Terry Swenson. Um, Carolyn Jones said, let's go defense. All right, we got a shout out to Jane Montgomery from Grandpa and Grandma Shelton. Great kick, it was. We got Coach Carroll, y'all hang around. I'm sure Coach Carroll's gonna try to catch up with Coach Tyson after the game on the sideline. Him and Brad's getting over there. This game's not over now, not with the speed that Irwin has. There's 13 seconds to go. They're sitting on their own 35 yard line. Charlton 17, Lanier 14. That's a great game down in the swamp. Charlton trying to hang on and squeeze out a win. Russell oh. Robinson said, let's go defense. Go clinch from Columbus, Georgia. All right, here we go. Receivers everywhere over the field. Soliday with the ball. He's rolling around. He's going to throw a long pass up in the air. It's tipped around. Let's see. Oh, I thought it was intercepted. It's going to be incomplete. That'll make four, four seconds. seconds to go in the game. Indians have a player down on the ground. Good coverage out there by that Panther secondary. That's number 12 for the Indians down. Daniel Astor watching from Great Wolf Lodge. That's Gay Bernard. Brooks County 47, Turner 17. Hey, <laughs> Cedric Bowden, brother, you, you are exactly right. Your daughter reads sticks a lot faster than you. She sure does. I got glasses right here as big as Coca-Cola bottles. I can't see that far. All right, this is the last play of the game unless we have a penalty. Four seconds to go. Panthers on top, seven to nothing. Irwin, everybody spread around. Panthers gonna rush one. They gonna get a good rush. They're trying to throw a screen out there. It's picked off. He gonna take it to the house, a pick six. And that's gonna do it. That'll make it 13 to nothing. Great job in there. Number 12 seen it. That's Jalen Prester's had a great game tonight. We'll pick it off and the clock strikes 12. Let's go. 
Panthers have upset the number one team in the state and the defending state champion 13 to nothing. Man, what a game here. Let's see, we got Coach Carroll. Dalen said, what an upset. And it will, I mean, in the paper tomorrow, the state of Georgia will be shocked. I mean, a lot of people won't. They just, I mean, this is a typical game between Clinch and Irwin. We got Coach Carroll on the sideline some ways trying to hook up. Everybody's tickled to death, wallowing around. I <laughs> see the coaches. Man, the Panthers played great tonight. Shocked the state of Georgia 13 to nothing. First time uh, Irwin's lost to a Class A team probably since Clinch beat them for the state championship two and a half years ago. Uh, they were trying to set up a little screen that looked it looked like, and Prister, he, he sniffed it out and got the ball, man, and went all the way, returned it a pick six. Uh, I'm sure Coach Chase is tickled to death that it ends that way. We got Coach Carroll out there. I'm, he's going to try to get in and get an interview, I think. I'm looking at Daniel. You want to stay here? You want to go to a break? I got to mention our sponsors before we get out of here anyway, man. We're going to stay right here till we can get Coach Carroll uh, our sponsors are the reason that we're allowed to do this and bring all the games to you free of charge. Man, we don't charge nothing. We enjoy doing it. Uh, us in Charlton County and Lanier County, we, we try to do this for rural Georgia and rural high school. I mean, just think if it wasn't for Creek Box tonight, you wouldn't have seen a great game here in Homerville with uh, Clinch County winning 13 to nothing. And man, Irwin County, hey, all this is going to do is make Irwin mad and wake them up. They're still with a win next week. Irwin will be region 2A champions, and uh, they'll be seated number one going into the playoffs. So uh, really nothing to gain for Irwin other than pride. And, of course, you don't want to lose. Never do. If you was picking up pine cones, you want to win. Uh, Tail Sweet, Miss Lisa said, Tail Sweet, Lexi, what a great job. Miss Lisa, Lexi wants to get that uh, that pineapple recipe. I do need it. <laughs> you thought I, think I, ate. Man, I ate the whole thing. It was good. <laughs> I ate some, that chicken and rice and the green lima beans, man, and them chocolate things with pecans on them. I, they were great. Yeah, I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on Tim. I see Tim and Brad, Tim trying to find somebody, just grab somebody, they'll talk to you, Tim. But uh, when we're waiting on that, we got Camping World of Alasta. Y'all go to Camping World, Mitchin Creek Box, you get $500 off. Dairy Queen and Popeyes. Uh, Heritage Bank, Homerville Jewelers, Huey's One Stop, Lee Engineering, Lutz Brown, Mike's Golf Carts, Walker Jones and Waycross. If you'll mention Creek Box, you get $500 off your purchase of a vehicle. Burt CPA, as Adam told, Douglas Metal, Metal Buildings. Uh, you can go see Mr. Earl, Mr. Clint, and he can hook you up. You can uh, just buy the metal, or he'll come put the metal and the building together for you. Carrot Collection Event Center. Man, if you have a wedding, anniversary, uh, birthday party, whatever, man, you go over there and you see Mr. Chuck Corbett and uh, he can hook you up and rent, rent you out that building and it's nice. Again, 13 to nothing, Clinch County on top of Irwin here on Creek Box. You see everybody's excited. Coach Carroll's sitting there, he's waiting on Coach Tyson, I'm sure, man, everybody, it's just hugging one another. It's a great game, man. I got to give the defense a shout out. They played great all night, and the offense waited till right there at the end of the game, and it all started with that great punt by Mozzie. They downed the ball down at the two-yard line of the Indians, and uh, uh, so uh, this is the last home football game this season for the Panthers. There's a shot of a lot of the fans out on the field. Coach Eric Richardson there, man, it's great. They're doing the, Brad trying to set, they're gonna go and set the camera back a little bit. 
There's the cheerleaders, they're excited. Biggest win of the year for the Panthers right here. And it comes, man, right at the right time. The playoffs is right around the corner. Panthers win next Friday. They go to Lanier. If they can beat Lanier, they'll be seated number three in the region. And uh, once you get in the playoffs and everybody starts over, no wins and no losses from here on out. It's a new season when the playoffs start, man. So y'all stay right here at Creek Box. I know we'll... Uh, be there next week at 645 over in Lanier to bring you some games. Coach Carroll's looking around. He's, I promise you, he's fixing to get Coach Tyson and somebody to talk to. Here we go. I got him. He comes now. I'm sure Coach Tyson's jaws are sore from smiling. There's Nett on the sideline. I see her out there red. Tell Nett we got her on camera tonight. Hey. All right, I'm going to turn loose. All right, Coach Carroll, bring it on home, baby. All right, well, Timmy, bring him in. <laughs> Tim's trying to get it figured out. We got some. Uh, we got him working on the mic. We got Brad and Tim trying to figure it out. Brad's got his glasses broke out now. We got Charlton beat is up on Lanier 24 to 14 here in the fourth quarter. We appreciate that storm chaser. How's the weather in DuPont, baby? We finna be headed that way. <laughs> Go over there and scare David when he pulls up. He'll be there in a minute. Yeah, they're trying to figure out the mic. You see Bo Gator right there talking to Coach Tyson. Man, you know he's tickled to death. Eric. Uh, Harris is fitting to grab Coach Tyson. They can uh, tell him to come to the trailer and he can catch him at the trailer. Yeah, tell, tell Bull to come to the trailer and we can catch him. So uh, we'll see if we can get Coach Carroll and Coach Tyson in the trailer up here for a quick interview. Uh, man, it, it's a... Uh, been an exciting game tonight. We're going to, Daniel, you want to take a run some of our ads when we figure out what we're going to do, and we'll be back in a little bit. Since 1972, Popeyes has been serving up mouth watering, delicious, hot, and mild fried chicken and chicken tenders from its Louisiana kitchen. You know about our great chicken, but have you tried our tasty seafood? All of our menu items come with a southern style all their own. On your way to or after the game, stop by Popeyes and remember we can handle all your special event catering needs. Conveniently located on Memorial Drive in Waycross, Popeyes puts a piece of Louisiana in every single meal. Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas has the cheapest prices in South Georgia and a huge inventory of new and used gas and electric golf carts and off-road vehicles. Mike's also has parts and accessories and proudly serves customers across the states of Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Whether you stop into our store or shop with us online, we have everything you need for Can-Am, EasyGo, Club Car, and Yamaha. 0% financing available for qualified customers. 
Mike's Golf Carts and Power Sports in Douglas, Georgia. You're watching Back Road Sports on Creek uh, One, TV. two, three, four, five. At six, Douglas six, Metal and Steel Manufacturing, we only use top quality steel and roofing. And with our on staff custom designer, we can customize your building to best suit your needs. We're good. From large commercial, agriculture, okay. or just a place to store your stuff. And it comes with a written 40 year warranty that we'll put in your hand. It's not just Check, quality one, two, we three, stand four, behind, five, six, but seven, we eight. stand on. Call today for a free quote. Douglas Metal and Steel Manufacturing. We are steel number one. Camping World of Aldosta, located in Lake Park, is your one-stop destination for all your camping needs. Stop by to see your dreams of quality time with your family become a reality. Whether it's tailgating with your air-conditioned camper, taking a trip to the mountains or beach with your family, or driving your motorhome to a faraway destination, Camping World has it all. Let us put you and your family in a camper for as little as $99 per month. And remember, One, two, when you three, buy a camper five. from Camping World of Valdosta, you receive a free Elite Good Sam membership, roadside assistance, and travel assist for one year. Homerville Jewelers on East Dame Avenue is your headquarters for bridal and baby registry. If you're looking for that special gift for the bride and groom, or that perfect gift for the new baby, look no further. We also have a variety of diamonds, gold, sterling silver, watches, and necklaces, and can perform jewelry repair. No need to shop out of town, we can supply all of your gift and jewelry needs. Let Big Young and staff serve you at Homerville Jewelers, East Dame Avenue, Homerville. We good. Tell me when. All right, folks, Bedlam here in Homerville, Georgia. Clinch County has shocked the world. They've upset the number one team in the state, 13 to nothing. Uh, just one whale of a ball game. Folks, if y'all missed it, you need to look it up in the archives because this is one for the ages. The Clinch County Panthers came in as a huge underdog, and, and uh, Coach Tyson said they worked hard this week. They had a great game plan. They controlled the line of scrimmage. They kept the corners to keep uh, Irwin County from getting out. It was just a tremendous effort, Coach. Congratulations. Well, I appreciate it, man. We needed a game like this to give us some confidence this, this year. It's been so up and down. It's been such a roller coaster, you know, with the virus and other things going on that we've had to deal with. And, man, uh, a lot of adversity, you know, and that's what we've been preaching to the kids all week. We talked to them about it again before the game at halftime. You know, just uh, adversity reveals character, you know, and and we hadn't shown great character, you know, at, at certain times during this season. A lot of that's got to do with frustration and just not being able to get some consistency going, and a lot of that's got to do with the virus and other things, and, man, you know, they, they've listened and they've learned, and we've done some things different. And this last week of practice, you know, was great. It was a great week of practice. And uh, and tonight, man, they, they, they played as a team. You know, they, you know, I didn't see any selfishness out there. We played as a team, and that's what we've been waiting on. It's really the first game all year we've played as a, as a team and played complimentary football. So uh, hopefully, hopefully this will be a sign of things to come. Hopefully we can keep this going. Yeah, it was uh, it, it was something to see. Your corners were coming up, your ends were, were containing them, you know, and uh, took them completely out of their element. You know, and you, you did a good job with the clock, milking the clock, holding them, limiting their possessions. I thought it was huge the first two possessions of the second half that they went three and out. Well, they've got a few players over there that any minute they get the ball, any minute they can score no matter where they are on the field. So, uh, you know, the game plan was to limit how many times they could snap the ball and try to frustrate them a little bit because they've been scoring a lot of points. Try to frustrate them, try to keep the ball away from them. And I think we did that. They started trying to sling the ball around a little bit and kind of got out of what they really wanted to do. And, um, and any time you can limit the amount of carries and, or catches that those Bing Yard boys get or that Cam Ward kid gets, you, you know, it's going to help your chances because they're superstar athletes. They're going to be playing college ball one day. So, uh, but as far as the edges go, Coach Davis did a tremendous job. There's a lot of, really, the defensive ends spilling that thing out to the corner. They, you know, we had a hard time all week, last week, and before our ends getting upfield, not playing good technique, and uh, Coach Davis did a good job with them. And then the, the edges played well, too, out in the alley. And, you know, and that, well, that was the focus on defense. You got a good, another good effort out of your backup center tonight, losing, you know, without having your starter there. That's huge. And a lot on his shoulders, and uh, he played admirable tonight to get the ball back to you and let y'all get some plays off. Yeah, and, you know, the thing is, schematically, you know, we look at them, they're running that odd front. 
And um, we usually run a tackle over, you know, a strong tackle over unbalanced line. When you do that, they shift down with you. But when you balance out, you know, as far as the X's and O's are concerned, you have better angles when you balance out. But what happens is now your center has a, a zero head up nose guard on him and we got our backup center in there. So it was a very big challenge for him and he did a great job. You know, you can't get enough depth going into playoffs. You know, it looks like y'all are getting momentum going into the right time, you know, and because uh, cause the second season's fixing to start, you know, and that's when it's all the marbles. Yeah, the playoffs start next week, you know, as far as I'm concerned, because this is Lakeland, and we, we want to beat Lakeland as bad as we want to beat Irwin, you know. So, um, so we're going to, you know, I've already told them, you know, enjoy this win. Come Monday, it's, it's, back, to the, it's back to work. Right. That's right. Well, Coach, congratulations. Enjoy it. Maybe you'll get a little rest tonight. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you'll be able to sleep in the morning. I imagine everybody in the world will be wanting to talk to you. And, yeah. and, uh, and congratulate you. But congratulations, Coach. Congratulate all your coaches. And uh, we, we just really appreciate the job you're doing. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that's going to be it for tonight here from Clinch County. Just as a reminder, Clinch County came back, scored in the last minute to take a 7 nothing lead, and then with four seconds left, uh, they picked off a pass, Irwin County pass, and ran it back for a touchdown to make it 13 to nothing. Uh, quite a ball game, quite a ball game. It was a complete team effort by the Clinch County Panthers. Irwin County played their, their usual great game. Clinch just kept them out of the end zone. Didn't allow them to get in there very often. But, folks, we appreciate you tuning in. Next week we'll be in Lakeland, Georgia, when the Clinch County Panthers are going to visit Rockmore Field in Lakeland and take on the Lanier County Bulldogs. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. God bless. Have a good weekend.